Hi guys, welcome to AI News, here are today's headlines. The Impact of AI Chatbots on Fast Food Job Applications ChatGPT takes the pulpit AI-generated sermon draws hundreds to experimental church service. AI deepfakes weaponized in U.S. presidential race, Trump targeted in latest attack ad. Silicon Valley grapples with the arrival of the singularity. IBM grants boost cybersecurity skills and resilience in schools. Now let's dive into the detail. The impact of AI chatbots on fast food job applications. The blog post discusses the challenges faced by applicants in the fast food industry due to the increasing use of AI chatbots in the hiring process. The author applied to several fast food chains and found that while some chatbots were efficient, others created confusion and hindered the application process. The McDonald's chatbot failed to schedule an interview, leaving the author uncertain about the next steps. At Wendy's, the chatbot didn't communicate the author's availability, resulting in a mismatch during the interview. The Crumble Cookies application process seemed simple at first but became complex with additional requirements and conditions. The Hardee's chatbot allowed rescheduling but didn't account for the manager's availability, leading to a wasted visit. The blog post suggests that while AI chatbots can streamline certain aspects of hiring, incorporating more human contact or improving the user experience can help address these challenges. ChatGPT takes the pulpit, AI-generated sermon draws hundreds to experimental church service. In an experimental Lutheran church service held at St. Paul's Church in Firth, Germany, an artificial intelligence chatbot called ChatGPT took center stage, preaching to a packed audience. The AI-generated 40-minute service, including the sermon, prayers, and music, was mostly created by ChatGPT and theologian Jonas Simmerlein. The event, part of the annual convention of Protestants in Germany, attracted significant interest and highlighted the intersection of faith and artificial intelligence. The chatbot sermon was developed using prompts such as the convention's theme, and it incorporated psalms, prayers, and a concluding blessing. AI deepfakes weaponized in U.S. presidential race, Trump targeted in latest attack ad. Artificial intelligence-generated deepfake images have been utilized in the race for the Republican Party presidential candidacy in the U.S., with former President Donald Trump being the subject of fake images. A video released by Ron DeSantis' campaign criticized Trump for not firing Dr. Anthony Fauci, accompanied by AI-generated images showing Trump hugging and kissing Fauci. Concerns have been raised about the use of AI-generated content to spread fake news and disinformation, emphasizing the need for government regulation and oversight in addressing the risks posed by AI in democratic processes. Silicon Valley grapples with the arrival of the singularity. The blog post discusses the growing fascination with artificial intelligence AI, in Silicon Valley and the concept of the singularity, a moment when AI surpasses human intelligence and leads to rapid, irreversible changes. While many in the tech industry believe that AI will revolutionize the world for the better, there are concerns about the potential risks and uncertainties associated with this advancement. Prominent figures in the field, such as Elon Musk and Sam Altman, have expressed both enthusiasm and caution about the singularity. The post also explores the historical roots of the singularity concept and the current debates surrounding AI's true capabilities. It concludes by highlighting the economic implications and the role of regulation in shaping the future of AI. IBM grants boost cybersecurity skills and resilience in schools. IBM is taking action to address the rising threat of ransomware attacks against schools worldwide by providing $5 million in-kind grants through the IBM Education Security Grants Program. The program, expanded globally since its establishment in 2021, will now include enhanced offerings from IBM SkillsBuild, focusing on AI and cybersecurity. Ransomware attacks have become increasingly prevalent, with the deployment time reduced from over two months to under four days between 2019 and 2021. The education sector experienced the largest year-over-year -year increase in cybersecurity incidents in 2022 compared to other industries. 
The grants aim to bolster school security resources, assist in recovering from attacks, and strengthen their overall security posture against future threats. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news, and see you in the next video.